age of nine, our next guest made his Broadway debut in Les Mis. And since then, Jared Spector has gone on to star in some of Broadway's biggest shows, like this one. We love him, baby. Uh, Jared played Frankie Valli in Jersey Boys. He was nominated for a Tony for his role as Barry Mann in Beautiful, the Carol King musical. Mm -hmm. And he took on the role of Sonny Bono in The Cher Show. And now, Spectre is back on Broadway where he belongs with a role where he'll do anything to remind you of his love. <laughs> I will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love. Da 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 Everybody! Jared Spector made his Hamilton debut last week as the fan favorite King George III, and he's joining us this morning on the sofa. It is a real treat to have yes. you Oh, thank you. It's a real treat. <laughs> everyone in the whole studio is too. Singing. Singing. Yeah, singing. <laughs> you are everyone's favorite character. I'm sorry. I mean, I love Hamilton, but seriously. I would agree. It's, right? yeah, it, it is, it's, qu it's quite a feeling to walk on stage and everyone is applauding. I mean, as soon as they see the they outfit. They know. They yeah, see the whole yeah. get up. But Here it almost, comes. you know, I mean, the show is just so, look, I mean, I'm just the biggest Hamilton fan, so I, I'm, I'm such a little kid there over there every night with, like, my monitor on full blast listening. <laughs> but, like, really every major character just gets entrance applause. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's an incredible thing. It's mm. an incredible yeah. show. It turned Broadway on its head. It sure did. Did you ever set your sights on it? Oh, yeah. I mean, I saw really? the show. Yeah, I saw the show off-Broadway in 2015 when it was down, mm -hmm. downtown of the public. And it was Brian Darcy James. And, you know, I mean, I was blown away like everybody else. I mean, seeing this incredible, groundbreaking show. Oh, that's, that's, that's a selfie I took from my mom. And then <laughs> I was going to say, is yeah. that the look right before you want to <laughs> take out everyone for betraying you? That's, that's yeah. oh, you poor useless subject. No, that was I love you, mom. Uh, and um, So you saw it downtown? Saw it downtown and just went, you know, insane for it. And, you know, like, what, what organ do I have to donate to, to, to be in this show? And I just never really had a chance because I was working and it was, you know, yeah. it was, so, but this was kind of the first time I had the chance and I couldn't, I couldn't believe uh, when I got the call. Wow. So you were yeah. called, you didn't have to audition. They were like, we want you. No, no, I, I did. I sent, in a, wow. I sent in a tape and then oh. didn't hear anything. Like, you know, like, like you do, like if not, I didn't hear anything for four months and then got a really? call. Yeah. Now, yeah. what did you sing for your audition? I sang, you'll be back. You did? Yeah. You were like, this is the role I want. Yes, yes. And alone I'm going to Alone in it. my apartment. No. Yeah, I mean, but who how... hasn't sung that song alone in the oh, apartment? Oh, that's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. Now, have you taken your one of your wife's scarves that kind of look like a shawl, you know, like a cape, and wrapped it around, and then like creepily walked into frame like I did? Is no, no one just me? No that one else. That was just you. Yeah. That was Got just it. Cool. you. Cool. Oh my gosh. So how long have you been in the role now? Uh, I have done six performances. Six. Unbelievable. Yeah. Is yeah. it? Is it surreal for you when you walk on the stage and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm really doing King George right now? Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, truly, like every day, as soon as the, uh, you know, the dun, da 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 da, yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I still get- I just got chills. I, 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 I get them, <laughs> I'm nervous all of a sudden, what's going on? I get them on? every day. It's the greatest show ever written, I will argue with anyone who disagrees. Yeah. I just think it is, it is just a masterwork in every detail. I mean, the more that you see it, I mean, you can watch it on Disney Plus, but to be in the theater night after night and to hear it and to watch the, the way lighting is done, mm -hmm. every piece of direction, t tiny little pieces of movement that are so smart. Every, it's so deeply layered and detailed. Sure. Um, it, it's just a masterwork. Uh, yeah. I, I, I would agree with you and not just because Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote it. Uh, do you know where he went to college? Oh, Wesleyan, I don't know. I'm sorry. It's a running <laughs> joke we have on this show because I, I went to Wesleyan and I try to find it. <laughs> The, the, it, it's, it's a, it, I would agree with you on all fronts. Your role specifically, you're out there alone. Yeah. You're out there alone. What do you use as your motivation? Where do you find your groove? I'm still trying to figure that out. No, oh, I, no. Okay. <laughs> I mean, to a certain extent, yes, because yeah. I, you know, I rehearsed, but, um, but to, your, to your point, I am out there alone. So until you start in that particular role, start working with, the, with a live audience, right. uh, it's a very different animal. Um, you know, I, could, I, I learned to do it, uh, you know, alone in a room and then alone in a theater. 
um, with you know just a couple of uh, members of the creative sure. staff in the audience. But then you know when when there's a real audience, uh, it's yeah. a very different thing. Do so, you block eyes with anyone? It's it, uh, the lighting makes it kind oh, of tough. True. But yeah, there are true. moments it's like, like right when there, I, yeah. once I charge all the way downstage and can sort of look down. Yeah, there are some people. Uh, there are some people you know whose, whose eyes I can catch. But I don't yeah. really like focus yeah. on any one person. It's more like a, a, yeah. a spot in the dark. I mean, I know you're not obviously not new to Broadway. You're Tony nominated. I mean, come on. It's not like you're all those shows. Yes. Yeah, I mean, gosh, you're, you're huge on Broadway already. But was there still pressure though because of the role, mm -hmm. and and those who had done the role before you? Yeah. Did you feel that pressure at first? Or yeah. you kind of like block that out and you're like, this is me doing this role? I think it's a little of both, okay. uh, honestly. But yes, I mean, you know, stepping into a, sh uh, a role that Jonathan Groff did and yeah. Brian Darcy James and my buddy Andrew Rannells, I mean, like yeah. these, these you know, like, sort of Broadway luminaries have done yes. this, this role. And the show is sacred. I mean, the last thing you want to do, you do <laughs> those three guys, exactly. You don't want to break this show. <laughs> you know, it is like no pressure. the greatest, no pressure just don't here. close no the show. Right. Um, so, and, and also, you know, no matter how many shows you've done on Broadway, I, you know, I can, I can say now, having been in this one for a week and a half, you walk out there, on, you know, it, it, the show is so action-packed from, from mm -hmm. the yes. downbeat, but then everything just stops in dead silence, and you stand there, you right. know, in this very heavy cape and the heavy crown, and, and the pressure of, like, okay, I am, I, you know, I've got to go do my That's thing. That's right. Uh, you know, yeah, it was definitely a little, my, my leg, thank, thankfully I had the cape all the way to full, because my leg was shaking underneath, <laughs> oh, and, I, really? and I, I am not a person that gets nervous, I've been... You know, you're, I've, used, I've been on Broadway you're, since you're I was Indiana. nine. Yeah, I don't normally, but I was uh, I was sweating under there. At least the first one. After that, it's been it's really been fun ever since. And having the uh, the mm. ability to play with the audience and and uh, and you know whether I have to live up to anyone. It, you know, the creative team. I mean, just worked with director Tommy Kale yesterday. I mean, they they really encourage you to take your you know to find your version of oh, yeah. of the king. So it's while there's pressure to live up to the expectation of how wonderful the role is and how amazing the show is, I still get to do my version, which is right. great. And that's yeah. part of the creative process, I mm. would think. Absolutely. You've played real people. Yes. In a lot of these big roles. Yeah. How does that affect how you approach the role? Do you go in and take a deep dive into who those people really are? Or are you oh, yeah. just like, you know what? I'm going to interpret who they were. Um, no, the, the, the former. Um, yeah. Except with King, I mean, I read the <laughs> Hamil I read Ron Chernow's book. Um, so there, there's some King George. I haven't read like a King George biography. Sure. I mean, and to be fair, I mean, this is a... Uh, an interpreted version that's right. of that's right. King George, and it's not like you know, unless you're coming from a seance, you don't know. You don't what exactly. He, what not sort of voice. Like. That's right. That's um, right. Um, uh, so really? it's different, you know, playing like Sonny Bono or Frankie Valli. Everyone yeah. has very specific memories and expectations of what that person looked like. If you know, you made out to Sherry when you were 13, you know, whatever it was, or if you watched, you know, the Sunny and uh, Sunny Chair Comedy Hour, yeah. you, you really think you know. Not, think you do know what yeah. Sonny looks like yeah, sounds yeah, like yeah. so that definitely changes the the calculus and preparation but for something like this it's it was more like reading the script mm -hmm. reading the book understanding what my part is um, you know and how he, the, his uh, his attitude and his dialect juxtaposes uh, the Americans sure. in, in the show that's that's kind of that was a bigger thing for me here wow. when you do something like Hamilton though it's like what's next right right Oh, I, this, I mean, I'll be here for a while. <laughs> yes. I have no plans. That my, I mean, it's nice to so. be in a show. I mean, look, Broadway, is, Broadway can be treacherous. You know, shows, sure. shows open and they close. Um, mm. To be in a show that is so deeply and, and universally beloved like this is a great privilege. And so I'll be here for at least a little while. No, we, yeah. we, we know you will be. <laughs> yeah. And thanks for making this a stop along the way. Oh, we gosh, thank it. you for having me. What a pleasure. Oh, Are you my from Philly? Gosh. I am. Are you an Eagles fan? Oh my God, yeah. Oh no way. Are you a what? Phillies fan? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's like, yeah. why? What are you talking? I, about? I realize, look, I've lived in New York a lot. Why are we? Are we going to be at odds now? Is this a fight? No, my <laughs> husband is a huge Philly um, Eagles, Eagles fan. fan. Oh, excellent. So that's why I'm like, oh. I feel like, um, you know, I've lived in New York, funny enough, for, for quite a long, you know, for longer than I live in Philadelphia, yeah. but I don't, you know, I don't forget my roots. So, yeah, we I walk around do. with Phillies and Eagles hats. People love me here. All right, go Birds. <laughs> two go and Birds. Two and what is it? Yep, two, two and, and oh. oh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, love, I'm sorry. This you, is my Just last a, time here. Don't yeah. kill my friends and family, though, please. I love you still. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you both. Continued success. Oh, Appreciate it. Thank you.